Hi everyone, welcome you all to this Desmos session. Uh, please sign in to desmos.com or teacher.desmos and let's learn how to build the first activity on new platform. So you may go to desmos.com and browse activities or teacher.desmos. So click on browse activities if you are on desmos.com you will be taken to the home page of desmos teachers activity you can see your name on the top right corner yeah make sure you have uh, done the ticks for desmos labs anyways on the left hand side there are some options for us one of which is custom when you go to custom there is one option for new activity so click on new activity and uh, give your any title to your first activity you may add some description about it and then press create new activity so once you pressed you will be taken to the desmos activity builder platform where it's a canvas where we can add different components and even multiple components on single slide to to make it student friendly so input math text or multiple choice whatever you decide you can use so on the first slide we can welcome to our students you can write a welcome message and then you start adding different components for example I am adding note and this is note for actually writing some instructions for example I am writing how are you today and then of course students needs to enter something so we add, we have to add text input where they can reply so they can write whatever they feel or you can even ask a single question as a startup and then uh, we can see other people's response as well so on the second page we have note and uh, multiple choice options different options so let's start from mcq multiple choice questions so let me write one first question here let's say what is the value of x if uh, one any, any one equation 3x minus Five equals to for example let's say it's 16 so student will simplify this expression and solve for X and then you are going to add multiple choices so you can add your options X equals to 5 X equals to let's say 3 7 whatever you feel just write down your options don't forget to click on the correct one and on the right hand side there are three dots you may randomize your choices so you can add more options if you want after that you just click on preview and see how it will look like for a student so you can see here x equal to 7 x equal to 3 x equal to 5 and different options are there and you will see a cross if a student is choosing wrong answer and then uh, we are providing here the platform where student can explain their thinking so for example student can show okay 3x equals to 16 plus 5 which is 21 therefore x equals to 21 divided by 3 which is 7 maybe in the beginning you need to guide your students how to use these features math typing and uh, simple typing so if you choose x equals to 7 still it is there so you can uh, student can come back and change their options if they want this was about mcq now in the second one we can have uh, math input or text input so let's add a note first of all where we can type some instructions let's say find x if or you may just change let's say find f of 3 
if f of x equals to we can just create any function so f of x equals to 3x plus 4 let's say and student will figure out what is the value of f of 3 so student can enter either in mathematical format or text format so I'm adding math format so student will see this bar where they can enter the numerical values for example even the two type 3 times 3 plus 4 automatically it will be calculated but if you insert text it won't ha happen so make sure if you want to give your students that opportunity to see the calculation values then please add math input and then student can submit this result will be stored immediately and uh, on your dashboard as a teacher you can always see next page let's use some graph so you can add some graph and edit it for example you can have any quadratic or any linear function let's say x minus 2 x plus 3 it's a quadratic graph and uh, based on this graph you may ask any any type of question so for example you can ask what are the roots or uh, different things vertex so I'm using table here for students to enter their responses so maybe I can write first root and then second root or first zero second zero something like that whatever you are going to write student cannot change anything here it will be locked and in the title you can write down or you can add a note to give instructions but title is a good way you can save your space so find the roots of the given quadratic so we can see the preview and the student have this opportunity to click on the graph to see the numerical values for example if student is clicking on the right point uh, they can see negative three zero two zero whatever and then they can uh, simply just enter their answers so right now in this activity i'm not making any coding it's all without coding very basic just try and use it now there is very important feature which is card sorting activity so we can create any card sorting activity by adding number of cards for example i'm adding first card even numbers and then i can type answers so that we can match their answers then let's say odd numbers so you can create any card based on images graphs you can insert images from your gallery and uh, after doing this generating your cards click on answer key and create your answer key you need to drag them overlap them okay you can see the preview it's already crossed because they are not matched so you need to match them the student will drag and drop and you can see if it is correct the tick mark so that's how you can like try this is like three four things you can add for any activity so give a try build your first activity leave your comments and let me know if you have any any challenge or you want to try some other type of activity watch other tutorials for uh, coding or other things thanks for watching